Well, welcome everyone. This is Word uh, Module 2. This is going to be the end of Project 1. So I'm going to try to demonstrate this for you as best as I can. So please sit back, please relax, and let's take care of business. So I have the file opened up. That's the end of Module 2, the very first one. And it tells us to save it. So the easiest way to save it, in my opinion, is just hit F12. And then we're going to change it to a 2, the 1, 2, 2. So that's pretty easy in here. So now we're going to go through the project steps. And it tells us you are writing a research paper for your media and communications course. The paper summarizes trends in streaming video services and must be written in MLA style. Change uh, the citations, maybe I've started document to MLA. So we're going to go into references. And you're going to check to see it. So now uh, I have APA over here. So I'm going to change this to MLA. Which is right over here. So that takes care of the very first one. Then we're going to modify the first part of paragraph. The rising popularity, satellite subscription, blah, blah, blah. By changing its font to Times New Roman, 12 point, And the line spacing to double. So let's go in here and double click and that will take care of the whole paragraph. We're going to do Times New Roman, which happens to be right here. If not, you just have to type in Times. It should go there. We're going to change it to 12 point and line spacing to double. So I'm going to go and I'm going to hit Control 2. That should take care of the line spacing to double, which it's not doing right now for some reason. So let me go and do it from up top here. We can try it one more time. There you go. Maybe because the um, the little mini toolbar was open. Didn't like uh, my control two. And no blank space after the paragraphs. So I'm going to go here and click on this and choose no blank space. Remove space after paragraph. So that is number two. Number three is update the normal style template uh, style to reflect the changes made to the first body. So here's normal. Just going to right click and choose update normal to match selection. So you'll see everything else based upon normal is going to change. Which you can see it has. So we're going to apply, apply the normal style to the first four paragraphs from Nina to in here. So... Let's go in here and just make sure that we're applied. So up, apply the ignore in here. So we have this looks good over here. That's already applied in here. This is from to Nina Sanchez to February 22nd. So we're looking for Nina Sanchez to 22nd in here. So bear in mind that what it does tell you, your normal thing would be to looking into body paragraphs. So what we're actually going to do here is apply the updated template to normal to the Nina Sanchez and these over here. So I'm just going to select these four paragraphs here. And I'm going to click on normal instead of heading three. So that applies that one. That was number four. Insert a right aligned header. With Sanchez as the header text followed by a plain page number, then close the header and footer. It does give you a hint if you're in Mac, insert the top of page header and page number with right alignment. So I'm going to go here and I'm just going to click on insert header and I'm going to choose header and I'm going to use edit header. Now you can use blank if you want. So I like to do the uh, the um, the edit header because it adds these tabs over here so I'm going to actually uh, reverse from that just so that you see the right aligned in here because technically this would not really be right aligned in here I could very easily choose right aligned here and that will take care of it as well so your choices either way is here the only difference is you have the center tab here and then you have the right align tab over here so again choose the one that you feel more comfortable with unless it tells you something specific but going 
this way gives you a little bit more flexibility in here. So I'm clicking on the header and footer over here, and you can see all the different things that I'm able to do. So I'm going to close header and footer, and I'm just going to go back into the header. And you can see the different things that, again, that we can do. If I want to go to the footer, I'm just going to click on the footer in here. So I'm good over here right now. Uh, apply the normal insert a right align header. So we're going to type in Sanchez as the header text followed by a plain page number. So to get page number, just click on page number over here. And I'm going to do a current position and I'm just going to do a simple page number right there. So then this will be one and any other page is going to be two over here. So then it tells us to close it, which we've done. Create a first line indent of 0.5 for all body paragraphs beginning with the rising paragraph and keeping cutting the cord. So here is our rising paragraph, the rising popularity, and that's fine, cutting the cord. Which should be somewhere. Um, oh, it's ending with cutting the cord. Okay, so that works out there. So I'm going to shift click and I'm just going to add a half inch first indent by dragging this up top here. I could have very easily gone into paragraph and hit a first line of 0.5 there as well. That does the same thing. That was number six on page two before the period in the sentence. In addition, technology. I'm looking for that. It's right over here. If you could not find it, and it's very easy to not be able to find something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control Home to go up to the top. I'm going to hit Control F, and I'm going to type in in addition. And it does not find it because it's probably set that it wants case sensitive. So there is our in addition. So if you know if something is case sensitive, when you click on replace and you see it's got match case, then you know it's case sensitive. So let's go back up and find it again, which is here. So I'm going to click here, and I'm going to close this to get rid of that yellow. So on page two, before the period in the sentence, in addition, before the period, in here, insert a citation. So let's go to the end of this sentence right here before the period. It tells us to... Insert a citation to a new source using the information shown in figure one. So it tells you, hint, that the tag name is intentionally blurred because it is generated automatically. That's the um, tag in the actual showing that you're going to see from the reference. So let's go into references. And here we have a manage sources. So we want it, we can click on insert citation. And what do we want to do? We want to add a new source. So let's click on new source. And now here is our create source. So this is the information. I will have to go back and show you this. It won't let me do anything with that box open. So you can see here is the information that you need to do. The tag name here, what they're talking about is what's been blurred. So let me go back here to where we were. My point should be exactly where it should be. And again, I lost the point, so that's no big deal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on here's addition. Okay, so we're still here. That's good. Remember when you're going and working off two monitors or you're going up top, Sometimes it's difficult to see where it is. You could also just put in a bunch of X's or something and see where you're going. So let's go back to insert citation. 
We're going to add a new source. It tells us we want a website, which is down here. Uh, the author is going to be Hart Dan. And name of page is Tech Goes Hollywood. And year is 2020. Month is July. Day is 9. Year access 2021. Month January. Day is 30. And medium is website. Now, if you don't have this information, you may need to click on show all bibliography fields in here. So, uh, just bear in mind, it's, it's no big deal if it's not. Just go in there and click on that. So, I'm going to get rid of it because it has mine on uh, my version. So, once I do that, I'm going to click on OK. Everything looks good. And notice that it created a tag name. So now I can go back up to the instruction in here. So we are now in step number eight. Insert a citation to the existing Pew Research Center source before the period of the sentence, a common complaint. Well, I'm not going to go in here and find, actually, here it is right here. I was going to go and search for it so it says before the period so let's put it right here before the period at the end of the sentence let's see a common complaint for customers so we're going to insert a, a citation to the existing Pew Research Center source before the period so let's go to insert citation and here is our existing Pew Research Center and that takes care of that in the same paragraph before the end of the period of the sentence, furthermore, insert a citation to a new source as shown in figure two. So let me click and find it in furthermore. Let's find furthermore, which is right here. Here is the period. And we're going to be adding this right over here. So this one is article in a periodical. So first thing I'm going to do is click on insert citation and I'm going to add a new source. Now I'll change this to article in a periodical and the author is Park J. Title is the media divide. Journal name news in tech. 2020. Okay, so I'm not seeing some of the fields in here. Periodical title, um, journal names, got years and pages. So let's go and click on show all bibliographical fields and see now we have a little bit more that we can do. So let's click on the month. We have the year, so we're going to type in December. The day is 4. Pages are 12. Okay, we don't need editor and we need to get down to medium. Which is right here and we're going to click print. And that takes care of that one. Okay. Insert a manual page break so the works cited paragraph begins on a new page. So let's click on this. I'm going to hit in control enter. In the blank paragraph at the end of the document, use insert bibliography. So we're going to go to references, which were already over here. So we need to actually insert the bibliography. So we're going to click on bibliography and let's choose insert. And it automatically adds this for you. Notice that it's already in alphabetical order. So now we need to edit something. Remember when you edit something you have to update the bibliography. 
So we're going to edit the Elwood source to enter Alicia as the author's first name. So let's go into Manage Sources. And we're going to find, uh, enter, let's see. We want to insert a list over here, edit the Elwood source. So we need to find Elwood. So a common mistake would be to look in the master list. You really want to look in a current list. So let's go to Elwood here. And if we want to edit it, all we have to do is click on edit. And it wants us to change the Elwood source, her first name to Alicia. So we can keep the L or the I. Let's try that one more time, the A. And now we're going to click on OK. And you'll see basically nothing's going to happen. So what do we have to do to do it? We're going to have to update the actual biology. So notice it still says, or the bibliography still says Amy in here. So what we have to do is click in here and we're going to right click. And we're going to choose update field. And notice that it updated it for us automatically. And your document should look like the final on page in here. So let's go and look. Uh, and let's just check our, our sources in here for our work cited and see what we look like. So that looks pretty good in here. When you're done, you're just going to click on it and save it. And then you're going to submit it. So here is my submission. I'm going to browse in here. So we have two end of modules. That's good. Let's see which one is this. This is end of module one. So I can close that. And I will go back and choose this. And I will drag this. Let me um, click on continue. And then I will drag this to right here and I will click submit once you're done you can click on download the graded summary right over here it puts it in a word file and then you can always look at the study guide and you can see uh, any of the things that you need to fix will be loaded right in here so you can see all the different things over here and it will help you if you have a problem just click on one of the ones that you need and you're good to go so that's it for this video hopefully that it was helpful and have a wonderful day